Hey everyone, nice, simple, very um, easy layout today. So I got this small photo, I think it's maybe like two and a half by two and a half, maybe two by two. And just of my son when he was young with the tutu on, just having a bit of a dress up. So I just got the photo and then I was just diving into the die cuts, the embellishments to see what I liked. And I pulled out these two here, the one that circles says, um, a moment in time and then there's that camera that I tried to get on a different layout and I just like the way they were nestling in around there and the scale of them and how it compared to the photo so I figured I would then get some messy mixed media happening and have a, a horizontal design with this lines and dashes and whatnot in this stencil that we got in the mixed media kit along with the Vicky Boudin silver glaze so you could see how smooth and easy and quick that went on. So I've just got it here in a bit of a random horizontal area across the page there. I waited it for it to dry a tiny bit, but not very much. But then I matted it with these two blue pages from the Coco Vanilla set, the kit Unforgettable. And so I just like the way that it frames it and has that cool look to it without it being just pouring blue behind it. I like that. It's got that blue line underneath as a, as a second border. So now I'm just going to work out on the rest of my embellishments and a, and a title. So I'm just having a look. We've got these exclusive cutter parts that we can cut apart in our kit. We also have lots and lots of embellishments and thickers and 3D goodness and die cuts and everything check out the unboxing if you haven't already so I'm just working on I'm going to I've commit to the photo I when I first put it down I was like why did I put it on an angle and then I actually like the way it ends up I I end up with that horizontal mixed media across and then a bit of a vertical embellishment cluster down the left of the photo so I really like that now I was trying to work out what title I was going to use and I was going to use you are amazing from this kit but then, I mean, these from this thicker pack, but then I found this <laughs> You've Got Style and it just was like the perfect title. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to make it work. And then when I pulled it off and put it near my layout, near my photo, I realized it just nestled in perfectly and continued that embellishment cluster. So it was definitely made for this layout. Just working out if there's any stickers that I want to add. And we've got all sorts. I've got the really useful box really useful tray and box next to me here that I'm just digging into I found the arrow and I found these feathers and I thought they just go really nice in terms of the color and the pattern don't know that you could entirely tell that they're feathers there but it just adds that little bit of a layer and and prettiness to it I guess if you looked hard you'll you'll know they're feathers but it doesn't have anything to do with the photo it just added a bit of height scale and color to the embellishment cluster added a butterfly because why not the kit is full of them and they are just beautiful and the color worked perfectly so down goes that arrow and i just wanted to extend it the cluster just a little bit more and add some 3d goodness i did put my photo up on foam and then the die cuts up are up on foam as well well some of them though that circle the camera and then the thickers are on the same level and then everything else is is on the level of the background adding in uh, this ribbon bow and a flare because it just went really well i like how the colors just flow nicely even though the background is silver white and blue the embellishment cluster just pops off the page because we have all the colors happening so on go some enamel dots because why wouldn't you add them they're the perfect colors and I tried to find a silver pen but I don't apparently have one that works so instead I remembered that a lead pencil works just the same giving you that silver kind of look so out comes the lead pencil that I had to go ask my son to find because apparently mine went missing out of my scrapbook tray um or pen tray container that's the word not tray but that's okay we always have them floating around so I've done a single border on the white a double border on the striped and then a single border on the blue background and I just wrote a little bit of 
journaling at the top there just says dress up fun and I'm gonna add some pink splatters so the silver mixed media was looking a bit flat like it was just one one part to it it wasn't you know popping off the page I guess so instead I'm gonna add to help this I mean I'm gonna add some acrylic paint that I just watered down a little bit and flick it over the page on it goes just in where that mixed media paste is in the background I'm not doing it anywhere else so just some little splatters here there and everywhere and then I decide to add some pink to the border so I'm just going to go right around the whole page just adding this watered down paint in a little bit like when you use ink to ink the edges but also making it come to the front as well so it's not just the the edge part it's actually a border as well as the edge if that makes sense hopefully it makes sense because you can see what I'm doing rather than just my words because they don't make sense so this is going to be the last of the layout and you can see quick video quick layout not much to it but I really like the finished product that's for sure anyway I'll catch you in my in next video hopefully you're having a great month I'll see you then bye